The body of Tob Cohen, the Dutch billionaire who had been missing, has been recovered. The Directorate of Criminal Investigation issued a statement saying that they found his body within a septic tank at his house in Kitusuru. Cohen was formerly a CEO of the Philips East Africa Company and he had his own business organizing golf tours within the country. At the time that he went missing, Cohen was involved in a bitter divorce case with his estranged wife, Sarah Wairimu Kamoto. While the investigations were ongoing, Sarah had told the cops that Cohen had traveled to Thailand for treatment. The DCI eventually arrested her as they mounted more evidence connecting her to his disappearance. She appeared in court and the judge ordered that she should be detained for 10 days as the police continued the investigations. That it was highly probable Mr. Top Cohen was kidnapped from his residence and taken by the suspect Yarin and her associates to an unknown place and they believe that it might turn out to be murder. There's no doubt that the matter the investigation is complex and requires thorough investigations. Top Cohen may be a foreigner, but he is protected by the laws of this country. The applicant has demonstrated sufficient reasons to have the suspect detained in custody. And it is critical that the case uh, that she be so detained for the period such as the said investigations are carried out. Be detained at Modaiga Police Station for a further 12 working days from the date of this ruling. The police are at liberty to secure the matrimonial home as a scene of crime uh, to which the suspect may access if need be or at her request but under the escort of the investigators. When she appeared back in court on the 12th of September facing murder charges, the judge ordered that she should have a mental assessment done. She is being represented by Philip Murgor, who also defended President Moi during the 1992 election petitions. The DCI reported that they recovered Cohen's body wrapped in many layers of clothing. They also said that the body revealed signs of torture before his murder. Two commercial sex workers were also charged for the murder of Cohen alongside Wairimu. The two women are said to have been with Cohen before he went missing on the 19th of July.